Hello everyone, there is no time for a long introduction as we have a lot of news to tell you about the Super Leak. Subscribe so as not to miss anything essential, support us with like and write in the comments below what do you think about the whole movement. Will the top clubs manage to launch the Super League or will the football world community stop this business from happening? While you're writing your opinion, we shall proceed to start. The Super League clubs have informed UEFA and FIFA about the appeal to the courts. This is a defensive measure against attempts to disrupt the tournament. The Associated Press reports. How would it punish the Super League participants? Deduct money, deduct points, take away their titles, but who cares? Let them out. Sky Sports quotes Gary Neville. The clubs will receive 3.5 billion euros, but now we can't guarantee that the project will be implemented, said in a statement from Juventus from Turing. Super League is anything but super. This is a greedy and callous move. Tragic. Luis Figo wrote on Twitter. Fans are the most important thing in football. Did these big clubs ask their fans what they thought about this idea? No, unfortunately, and that's a shame, Eric Cantona said. Friends, a question for you. Did you know that the famous Mbappe celebration doesn't belong to him? Why does Kylian have a strange relationship with cars? Whose poster he had on his wall? And why did Zidane call Kylian when he was 13? Guys, on our new play special project, 33 facts about Kylian Mbappe that you might not know have been released. The content here is very good and we can't help but recommend it. We are your football bros after all. And by the way, I also do voiceovers for these videos. We'll leave the links in the description, in the card up there and the final screen. Go ahead, watch and subscribe. This is a war on football. Shame. A closed establishment for big shots. It's just business. Rio Ferdinand said indignantly. Kuman will remain Barcelona's coach. Laporta will support him after winning the Spanish Cup. Sport S reports. Atalanta and two other clubs have called for the exclusion of Juventus, Milan and Inter from Serie A. Go.com reports. I like the competitive aspect of football. I like that West Ham might play in the Champions League. I don't want them to because we want to, but I like they have a chance. Jurgen Klopp said. It makes me sick that Liverpool's reputation is being undermined. The shameful capitalism of Manchester United doesn't surprise me much. Jamie Carger said. Kids grow up dreaming to win the World Cup and the Champions League, not any Super League. The enjoyment of big games is that they only happen once or twice a year, not every week, Azil said on Twitter. At least two clubs from France will play in the Super League every year, informs the AFP agency. De Bruyne will miss the next match of Man City in the Premier League against Aston Villa due to injury. The Super League is a selfish plan that is designed to make the richest even richer. The destruction of the ecosystem will lead to the failure of these clubs, reads the statement of La Liga. The main decisions on Euro 2020 will occur on Friday. Munich, Bilbao and Dublin may be excluded from the list of the host cities. Manchester United midfielder Bruno Fernandes reacted to the creation of the European Super League. Dreams cannot be bought, the Portuguese wrote on Instagram. Super League? I don't want to interfere with that matter, because my words may sound like an excuse, Thomas Tuchel said. Bayern Munich didn't take part in the discussion of the Super League and welcomes the reforms of the Champions League, said the Munich club in a statement. The people in charge of founding clubs are not stupid. We'll have to wait to see what the plans are. Manchester United is trying to move the club forward, Wayne Rooney said. If these European Super League advances, the dreams of lower teams competing with the greatest will be over, Herrera tweeted. Bayern and Borussia will have 30 days to accept the invitation of the Super League. PSG has 14 days left. Der Spiegel reports. Amsterdam Ajax has refused to participate in the Super League, rates the club statement. Juventus, Inter and Milan have announced that they want to play in Serie A despite joining the Super League. Manchester United and Juventus' promotional percentage were up 11% and 18% after the decision to create the Super League. La Liga won't exclude Barca, Real Madrid and Atletico from the tournament. The management is confident that the idea of the Super League will fail. Real wants to buy Mbappe this summer and Holland the next one, the newspaper Us reported. Umtiti doesn't want to move to Zenit. The St. Petersburg club is trying to convince the Barca defender, Fabrizio Romano informs. 
non-Super League clubs are promised 400 million euros in solidarity payments. They receive 140 million from the Champions League, according to the Financial Times. Manchester United players are unhappy with the club's participation in the Super League. The Athletic reports. European Super League? I don't like that. I hope this won't happen. BBC quotes James Milner. Now, it's time for us to dive into the main news of the release. Sergio Aguero is close to moving to Barcelona. This is reported by many sources, including Teague Sports, Alfredo Martinez, Beteve, La Portera, and Don De Cero. These striker's lawyers have already received a copy of the contract. The footballer agrees to a salary cut to become a Barca player. There is a possibility that Barcelona will announce the transfer in the upcoming weeks. Yesterday, the game of matchday 32 of the Premier League took place, in which Leeds drew with Liverpool. 1-1. The hosts responded to Mana's goal with an accurate shot from Yarante. Interestingly enough, Liverpool fans booed the club's bus. Before the starting whistle, Leeds footballers came out in special t-shirts with the Champions League logo and the slogan, Earn it, and the inscription, Football is for fans. In England, fans of the Super League's founding clubs came out to the stadiums to have their say. Fans have spoken out against the creation of a new tournament. We will show you some photos that just shocked the world. UEFA President Alexander Ceferin reacted to the creation of the Super League. We have to highlight a few moments. All footballers participating in the Super League will not be able to participate in Euro or the World Cup tournaments. According to UEFA, the creation of the Super League is a slap in the face to the football fans. The head of UEFA called the club's creators of the Super League snakes. Andrea Agnelli, the ex-head of the Association of European Clubs, was discussed in such a way. I've never seen a person who would lie so much," Ceferin said. In UEFA, the Super League is considered a greedy project that could kill football forever. But these are not all the news from UEFA. UEFA has confirmed its decision to change the format of the European competition from the year of 2024. In the updated Champions League, instead of the 32 squads that are currently playing, 36 teams will be involved. The new format provides one league instead of splitting into groups. The top eight teams from the table will advance to the playoffs. The rest will qualify through a new playoff round. All clubs are guaranteed 10 matches in the renewed version of the Champions League and the increased income. Next Friday, UEFA plans to discuss the possible exclusion of the founding clubs of the Super League from the current draws of the Champions League and Europa League. Sanctions may include Real, Chelsea and Manchester City in the Champions League and Arsenal with Manchester United in the Europa League. In the UEL, the final may take place with the participation of Roma and Villarreal. And in the Champions League, it's possible that PSG will be declared as the winner of this year's campaign. However, according to the newspaper Bild, the most likely option is that Bayern, Borussia and Porto will be returned to the Champions League. We live in truly amazing and shocking times. The English newspaper The Guardian has published a document created by the founders of the European Super League. It has not been revealed previously. The publisher claims to have found it in the code of the tournament website. It explains the main reason for creating the tournament. Some of the tournaments we participate in do not meet the needs of the fans. And new generations are looking for entertainment in ways that didn't exist 10 years ago. The weaknesses in the fundamentals of football have been known for years. The coronavirus has simply demonstrated their seriousness. And none of the game supporters have come to a decent solution. Inaction is no longer an option, state the clubs that created the Super League. And finally, we are down to the main dish of yesterday. An interview with the chairman of the Super League, Florentino Perez. Real Madrid's president answered all questions in an interview with El Chiringuito TV. We have highlighted all the main points for you. The need to create the Super League is due to the difficult financial situation of the clubs due to the coronavirus. The more top matches being held, the more money for TV broadcasts will be. Football must develop and evolve, and the current alignment is stagnant. 
Young people watch football less and less, and they need a new interest in tournament. Super League clubs will be able to help smaller clubs by buying players from them. The Super League will not be a closed tournament. Every year, five new clubs will be able to participate there. The Super League wants to establish some sort of a dialogue with UEFA. The prize money of the Champions League is no competitor with the prize money for participation in the Super League. Perez denied information according to which clubs will be excluded from the current Champions League and Europa League, and UEFA has no right to exclude clubs from national championships and prohibit football players from playing in Euros or European Championships. The second division of the Super League is quite possible to implement. The main aim of the Super League is to save football. According to Paris's forecasts, football may die in 2024 if the Super League is not launched. None of the founding clubs of the Super League can leave the tournament. All 12 clubs have signed a corresponding contract. In the future, the format of 90-minute matches may be shortened for the sake of the entertainment from the game. The head of the Super League expressed his lack of trust in UEFA and FIFA, recalling corruption scandals in both organizations. Bayern, Borussia and PSG haven't yet been invited to the Super League. Perez also said that there is no point in returning Ronaldo to Real and he wants Messi to stay in Barcelona. On this note, the interview was over. Guys, don't forget to watch the new video on our new Play Special project. Check it out for yourself. It was Football News. Thank you for watching. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.